Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So today I'm going to be talking about the Brave browser and how you can earn free basic attention token, that's BAT, uh, using the Brave browser. So uh, this is a video I suppose I've been meaning to make for about six months now. And every time I've gone to kind of make the video, um, I've seen a new feature, on up, an upcoming kind of feature uh, that I kind of wanted to kind of look at. And also when it first started, it was desktop only. There were kind of various kind of issues uh, with it. So uh, I wanted to wait until it was kind of more uh, widely kind of like rounded out. I wanted to make sure that the the tips and that side of thing worked okay, that uh, payouts were working okay and stuff like that. And now it's available not just on all desktop platforms, but also on mobile platforms, so Android and iOS. Uh, so it really is um, now, I think, got to the point uh, where it's a, a really kind of viable alternative to your current browser, be that Chrome or Firefox or Safari uh, or whatever you're running. So. Um, Let's start uh, with the website. So brave.com is the website. You can download it from here. I will put a, a link uh, below where you can actually download the software from. It is a, uh, an affiliate link. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything or anything like that, but I believe if you um, download it through my kind of link and sign up, then I receive a few uh, BAT. I'm not sure if you receive a few as well. I'm not 100% sure on that at the moment. But uh, if you go to the homepage, you can see um, available for uh, both Windows, both 64 and 32-bit Mac OS and Linux, and it is available in both the Play Store and uh, Apple's uh, store as well on iOS. So that's great, it's available on all platforms. Now, it's based on the Chromium um, platform, which is the same as kind of Chrome, so it does mean that uh, a lot of your extensions, pretty much all your extensions should uh, work on Brave if they also work on Chrome. So that's um, a nice little additional touch. But the big idea behind Brave is it protects your uh, privacy. So it blocks trackers, it blocks ads, um, anything kind of like that. It also does um, a sort of upgrade to HTTPS for some sites where they're just running HTTP. So there's lots of privacy and security reasons why you might want to switch to Brave. And obviously because it's blocking all those kind of additional kind of tracks, trackers and ads, it's a lot quicker than um, using kind of Chrome. So uh, this is uh, actually the browser here. Uh, if you actually click on the new tab, you'll see um, now I've been using this browser for probably a couple of months it's a relatively new machine uh, for me but you can see it's blocked some uh, 9710 ads and trackers there's been seven HTTPS upgrades and I've saved nine minutes so that's nine minutes of time uh, that I would have been sat here just waiting for trackers and ads to load uh, you can also see here on the right um, so far this month and we're only beginning of the fourth of the month um, I've earned 2.1 back just on this uh, particular browser so if you are interested links um, below to download the browser you can always uh, set it downloading while you watch the rest of the video I'll put links to all these additional um, additional sites that I talk about now um, also in the description below so um, uh, as well as brave.com they have a reddit so it's brave underscore browser on reddit, a reddit rather uh, lots of useful information there and if you do have issues or if you do have questions that maybe aren't covered uh, by the main uh, website if you go into the kind of uh, the Reddit uh, subreddit, um, you can answer your question there. You might be able to just search and a lot of people have already answered probably a lot of the questions that you've had. Uh, now, if we move over to Backgrowth, it's a really good site, backgrowth.com. Um, this basically tells you how many um, publishers, so this is the other side of things. So if you just use the Brave browser, um, let me just show you this here. So this little triangle here is the rewards setting. So if you click on the rewards setting, uh, if the website you're actually on is uh, a brave verified creator then you can actually tip them uh, immediately but if you go to reward settings here this is where you switch on and off brave rewards and brave rewards basically is a way of you earning BAT so it works very much like push notifications so if you go to a lot of websites now they say uh, can we uh, send you notifications with new stories and stuff like that. If you click yes, you'll get push notifications. Now, in Windows, it tends to be the bottom right of the screen. Um, I think in Mac OS, it's up at the top. Um, on mobile, they just kind of slide in or they appear in your notification bar. Um, but you can turn uh, your rewards on and off like this. So you switch it on. And then basically, um, if you switch it on, you will receive ads. This is the ad section here. If you go to settings, you can um, uh, adjust how many ads you're receiving so between one and five ads uh, per hour you're not going to be receiving that number of ads depending where you are in the world depending on what platform you're in uh, you might receive um, a handful of ads a day you might receive um, no ads for a few days um, or you might receive like lots and lots so um, it really does um, it does vary at the beginning I was probably receiving I think more ads than I am uh, now um, but it probably depends uh, somewhat on the platform I, I 
notice that on my tablet, which is an Android tablet, I tend to receive more notifications than I do on my uh, smartphone, which is also an Android phone. Uh, I have received probably more ads on my Mac uh, Book Pro, uh, which was the original um, downloaded browser. So when I downloaded originally, I was working off my Mac Book Pro. This is actually a Windows desktop machine. I don't seem to receive uh, quite as many ads on this platform but whether that's the actual platform or whether that's just because it's been a little bit later in the development cycle and there's lots more people uh, using the browser I'm not 100% sure but you can see here estimated pending reward so 2.10 bat uh, next payment date is February the 5th which is tomorrow so everything that's been accumulated last month will go into our wallet uh, tomorrow and then you can set this as well auto uh, contribute so what you can do is set that and basically as you browse around the web um, the sites you visit uh, most often that are signed up as publishers to uh, the brave rewards program will start receiving uh, small amounts of your back so you can set how much you want to um, uh, contribute or auto contribute so up to 20 uh, bat a month um, and then you can switch that on and it will just be distributed uh, across all the sites that you visit that are signed up but uh, in proportion to how much time or how many visits you make to those uh, sites now if you want to verify your wallet uh, something I should say is that if you have the browser on multiple different machines uh, there's no simple way really of having the same kind of wallet it will have a, a new wallet for each browser install but you can um, link them all to the same uphold account now this is one of the reasons why um, and maybe didn't do the video kind of before so if you click verify wallet here you can see uh, benefits of verifying is that you can withdraw the bat uh, that you're receiving if you don't verify all you can do is send the bat to uh, other people although if you are a publisher you can send it to yourself um, to withdraw it that way um, the wallets are run by uphold so this is uphold here um, now the issue with this is that you do have to go through KYC in order to sign up to app, uh, uphold it's available on both um, uh, Mac, uh, sorry not Mac OS um, App Store and Google Play so it's available for both kind of platforms Platforms. Um, the app works pretty well um, and the rewards that come through just get sent to your uphold wallet but obviously um, if you have an issue with kind of KYC if you don't want to sign up to KYC um, not an ideal situation for you now they have been saying for a while now that there will be additional wallet options in the future uh, I'm not sure when or if they will become available I'm sure they will become available I'm not sure you know at this point exactly when uh, but it would be very nice to have uh, them available for a non-custodial or non-KYC um, platform whether they will be able to do that because uh, adhering to uh, local laws particularly in the US and places like that uh, I don't know but Uphold works pretty well if you do want to uh, remove your BAT or if you a publisher and you want to remove your uh, BAT uh, you do need to sign up to uphold which brings me to the um, second part so you can earn BAT just by browsing the web uh, and opting in for ads but the other side of things is the brave rewards uh, program and if we go back to back growth here you can see here uh, this is a total number of publishers so uh, in total almost 400,000 publishers the vast majority of YouTube channels uh, my YouTube channel is a verified publisher so if you're on the brave browser and you want to send me a tip if you're anywhere on my channel and you click here uh, you can send the tip just quite easily one five or ten bat always gratefully received uh, but you can easily um, send tips to anybody who's verified when once you're on the website so 250,000 YouTube publishers 45,000 Twitter publishers um, 42,000 website publishers and there's some really big sites on that now including uh, places like Wikipedia uh, 25,000 twitch publishers 22,000 almost reddit publishers so you can tip people on reddit now as well using BAT and then we've got uh, 8,600 github publishers nothing for a soundcloud at the moment sound cloud at the moment uh, but three and a half thousand Vimeo publishers as well if we jump to uh, the website publishers you can see there's some really big names in here so you've got Wikipedia uh, X hamster big porn site uh, you've got the Guardian which is um, a large newspaper here in the UK but WikiHow um, DuckDuckGo which is obviously the privacy uh, search engine but then some other big sites so Vimeo archive.org Washington Post lad Bible etc so there are some very large uh, sites now uh, that are content creators on the uh, brave platform if we go to YouTube you can see some very large YouTube channels as well spinning records trap nation um, so there are um, some decent sized uh, publishers on the platform for you to tip if you like their content um, 
Now the second side of things is that if you do have a YouTube channel or website, uh, if you're um, on Reddit, if you're a, a Twitter user or anything like that, you can sign up for rewards. So you literally just go to uh, publishers.basicattentiontoken.org. Again, all these links will be below. Click sign up, uh, enter your email, and then you can link through um, your kind of like channels and stuff like that. Now what I'm gonna do is just log in very briefly to my uh, reward. So the way it works is you put in your email address, they send you a login email. So I'll just pause very briefly and once that comes through I'll just show you the platform. So here you can see um, the publisher section. So basically they email you a login link, you click that and it logs you in. So uh, I've got a balance at the moment 53 Point to bat. Now this will basically be paid out into my uphold account and I can uh, log into my uphold account and show you that in a minute. So um, you can see here your uphold wallet's connected at the moment. Um, the deposit is uh, currency is BAT, obviously basic attention token. The last deposit date was January the 10th. Uh, the next one will be, um, I believe payouts are February the 5th, so it'll be in the few days after that. As you can see here, uh, we've got just under 50 BAT from last month ready to go. So it's been prepared and then it's reviewed in progress and done. So it kind of steps through these um, these little kind of um, progress kind of steps and then it sends it to your uphold balance. So that's basically what we've received. If we click view statements, um, you can see the various little bits and bobs that I've used. So right back in June, I uh, received 57, then 14, 42, 32, 24, only eight last month. Um, not sure really what I was doing last month, but not a lot kind of came through. But you can see your statements, and then what you can do is link through to Uphold. And if I sign into this, again, I'll pause the video very briefly. Okay, so I've just logged into the Uphold account. Um, always enable your two-factor authentication on that. And then you get these basically these cards. So you can swap between different uh, currencies. It's also linked to CredEarn. So if you have uh, coins in there, you can then uh, sort of, well, not stake them, but you can um, send those um, to basically earn interest like an interest account. But if we scroll down here, you can see here, so we've got uh, YouTube, the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. We've got Twitter. Uh, and we've got YouTube uh, rewards there. And you can see here that balance 178.8. Total balance, that's 34 pounds and six pence in GBP because I'm in the UK. And then you can see here the recent history, just like we saw um, in the rewards um, when we went to the statements. You can see all those amounts just being sent in. So um, that's the way it works. Um, if you do own a channel, one of the things you can do if you um, own your own channel, um, but you also are um, using the browser just on different machines. What you can do in order to consolidate your BAT is just send it to yourself. So you can go onto um, a website that you own or a channel you own and just send the tip. So once they build up in all your different kind of uh, browsers, you can do that. So you don't have to send it to other people, you can send it uh, to yourself. But if you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask me in the comments below. Let me know if you're using Browser be, uh, Brave. It would be really interesting to know how many of you are already using it. As I said, um, I use multiple kind of browsers for different things. So all my crypto stuff I tend to have on kind of Brave and then uh, I'm still using kind of Chrome for some other work stuff and I've got Firefox installed for some uh, tracking and kind of statistics stuff. So I tend to use different browsers for different things. But uh, Brave has become my kind of go-to browser I think probably now. I've got it installed on my uh, mobile. It's my uh, default browser on the mobile rather than Chrome now um, as well as being on my tablet and also my back MacBook Pro. So uh, I really like the fact it's quick. I like the fact that it blocks a lot of the kind of tracking and kind of ads you would be uh, getting. And I like the fact that um, you earn some BAT and then you can use those to tip um, publishers and uh, people you like. So if you are a publisher on the platform, the other thing I should mention, uh, so if you have signed up as um, a creator or a publisher, however you want to say it, um, let me know uh, below, put your um, YouTube channel or your uh, Vimeo channel, or whatever it is, uh, your Twitch stream are below. And uh, once I've accumulated a few more kind of bat uh, this month, I will send you uh, some tips. So let me know your channels uh, below, particularly if you've got YouTube channels, but anything else as well. And I will endeavor to send you uh, some BAT uh, as a tip this month. Anyway, thanks very much for uh, watching as always. Uh, as I said, if you can give me a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. It really helps. Uh, other people find the videos really helps the channel grow, so that will be fantastic. But um, ask me any questions below, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.